What's going on guys? I am back with another video. Right now I'm soaking some of my female dragons. Um, haven't did a video in a while. I've been very busy. And because I've been so busy, I haven't been able to care for these dragons like I normally do. Um, so a couple of them are losing weight. So I'm going to be releasing most of these dragons. Um, if you guys are interested, stay tuned to this video. Because um, I will be making them available. Um, I have a red monster female right here. I have this translucent possible head hypo red female here. This female right here is 100% head wiblet. She's a hypo. Uh, this is a wiblet head wib. Sorry, wiblet head trans head hypo and possible head zero. Uh, this is her sister right here. Uh, she's a wiblet as well. She hasn't been bred so. Don't know. Don't know if she's uh, carrying any of the hits that her sister is. Um, even selling the marble female up here. This is a zero um, hybrid female I produced last last year, I believe it was. Sorry. Yeah, maybe late late the year before. Like, I don't have birthdays on none of these. So I didn't plan on selling any of these, so I didn't keep birthdays or anything like that. But, um, I believe the female that I produced right here, um, is almost, she'd probably be two years old in, like, November or something like that. Right here. That's the marble female. I'm going to give you guys a closer view as well. Um, this female right here. That's a hypotrans uh, female. She's sister to the two wiblets in here. Um, this is a hypo female that is possible head trans. She has some nice blue bars on there. Um, this right here is a Spain import red. This is a translucent zero I produced. She's a hybrid as well. And that one right there, I'm going to hold on. Something wrong with one of her eyes, so I'm not going to um, sell her. But that's my um, Thailand import. But I'm going to show you guys a closer view of all of them. Any defects or anything that they have. And um, like I said... I haven't been having enough time to come here like I'm supposed to. This my, I usually come and soak them once a week, but I haven't been able to get here. Um, it's either get sleep or come here, and I've been needing to get sleep, so haven't been coming here as much as I need to. So the dragons are taking, taking a toll. So I'm gonna go ahead and let them go. Um, really don't want to, but I can't find a way to make more time um, to come here. Um, they they don't if they if they were with me where I lived then it'd be a lot easier but they out of the way now I don't I live probably thirty five minutes away from here and I'm currently working two jobs so uh, it's a lot of work trying to get here um, to care for them um, I do have some other reptiles they're a little bit more less care um, they don't need daily feedings and stuff like stuff like that bitten dragons need to eat daily um, these guys haven't been getting the proper care like I buy a bunch of feeders and then I'm not able to come and then um, the feeders die and uh, by the time I'll be able to make it here so I'm not be able to, I feed them that one day I get them and then or I try to gut load them and then I don't be able to make it over here and then the feeders end up dying and then I have to so I'm wasting money I'm also wasting money because I'm not producing any of that uh, reptiles this year so I'm paying for this place that I'm keeping them at, but I'm paying out of pocket. The reptiles not paying for it themselves. So I unfortunately have to downsize. Um, and there's some of the some of the better dragons that I'm looking forward to working with. Um, most of these are virgins. Um, this girl right here, the whip blade produced, and she's proven. Um, this girl was sold, but the guy stopped contacting me. It's a hypo head wiblet, possible head trans. 
Then right here we have uh, red translucent, possible head hypo. Then right there, that's the leatherback red monster female. Um, she's possible head trans. Her brother proved off her trans. And then right here we have the marble zero. Um, 100% head hypo, 66% parable head trans. She has, she has solid black eyes. Uh, she's patched. Um, she's most likely going to prove out to be on um, genetic stripe. Um, so, like I said, these guys are a little bit underweight. So I haven't been able to feed as often as I should be. But I'm going to show you guys in depth the uh, current condition. And some of you probably don't see anything wrong with it, but uh, for me, they usually be a little bigger than this, so I'm going to go ahead and relinquish them. Um, they can be a little bit discounted more than they, they would be if they were to my standards. Um, I do have some babies as well. Um, these were um, something I picked up thinking that I was going to have time, but unfortunately, something else came up that will prevent me from getting that time that I thought I was going to have. So I'll show you some of those as well. But um, let's get into these close-ups and I'll show you guys. Uh, and I'll have them on my website by the time the video come up. And you guys can go make your purchases there. Um, Like I said, I don't have the exact birthdays or nothing like that. I can tell you if they're proven or not, if they're bred, if they're, they're all females. Um, I have a couple males that I, I'm going to let go. And maybe a couple more females. But yeah, let's get up to these close-ups. Alright, so I am going to be showing you them right out of the um, tub, so they will be wet when I show you. But... Alright, this is the proven whiblet female. Uh, she's proven head hypo, proven head trans. Uh, she's a leatherback. Um, she was bitten on her nose by one of her clutch mates, so it looked like she has underbite, but it's actually not underbite, a piece of her top lip is missing. You can see the scar there. And I'll show you her sister so you can see that it's definitely not genetic. Um, she has a little black spot right here. Got a little piece of look shed right here. Very little bitty uh, nip tail that's there like I said she would be on the website um, her genetics would be on there won't have a birth date won't have parent pictures so please don't inquire about any of that information Translucent, red translucent. She is uh, possible head hypo. She's not proven. A nice red beard. Top of her head is kind of yellow, like a coral, like a coral red. Uh, she's, like I said, a translucent. Uh, full tail, no nib, all her toes. That's her.
I'm gonna do it a little bit like that, like this view as well, so you guys can see. All right, here's that little bit of feeling. And this is her sister. You can see she's a little bit more thin. I don't like that at all. She has a little mark on her head. I'm not sure where that's from. She had it for a long time though, since her she was very young. She got a nip tail as well. But I told y'all show her her mouth. Lines up perfect. They all still have great appetites. It's just I haven't been here to take them out. I mean, I uh, offer them the food. This girl, she's holding on to her weight good. This is a 100% head with blue female. She has a more bright head than anything. Her body's kind of more crab. She has a very, very nice head structure. I like her head structure. She has a nip toe as well. Female, 100% head with blue. Um, she's a hypo, she's possible head trans. Alright, this is the marble female. She has a bunch of water in her throat right now, so I'm not going to try to bother her too much. But she's a 100% head hypo, 66% probable head trans. She's um, Barbada hybrid. Visual zero, most likely gonna prove well for genetic stripes. She has solid black eyes. Good bite. No nips. She got a little bit of a bend on her tail. She got all of her toes, no crinkly toes. There she is. I'll show you her in my hand. She she don't like being held. Like I said, I'm trying not to bother her too much because she's gonna spit the water out or go in her lungs or something. But that's her in my hand. For size reference, I'm a six foot guy. Three hundred pounds. All right, and this is the red monster female. She got a little shed in her head, in her ear. Perfect toes, perfect tail. Good bite. Very, very dark red. Not a kink. Show you her in my hand as well for size reference. Alright, this is the hypotrans female that is uh, the sister to the two Wiblets that I showed you. She also, I bought, the, I bought them as a group with two males. I sold the males a long time ago. But um, they were a nip special, so I bought all of them. And I kept them three. I only bred. 
she produced eggs, but they were infertile. Um, so I don't know if she proved off her whiplet or not. Her tail is in shit. You can see her bite as well. A good bite. Hello, all her fingers and toes. No crinkly toes. A little thin. But like I said, that's all on me. I haven't been here to feed like I'm supposed to. That's why I'm letting them go. Trying to break the shed off the tail. But I just let her do it on herself. She got some hair head is shedding as well. The foot is shedding. But that is her hypotrans um possible head whiblet N0. Both of the whiblets are sisters, those two. Right there. Those are possible head zero as well. Uh, she proved out trans and hypo. She hasn't been bred. She's still uh, smaller. But she's the biggest out of all three of them. They all have good appetites. Uh, let's see what's next. Alright, we have this orange hypo female with the blue bars. See the water come out of her nose. That's why I didn't really want to bother them too much. While they were drinking. But... I'm to get the video as well because I'm still on a time constraint right now. Just got off work. Um, Got to be at work in the morning and then I work tomorrow night as well. So but yeah, she's the biggest out of all the girls. She hasn't been bred. She was with a male, but um, nothing came of it. She has a very, very bright orange color when she's fired up right now. She's cold because she was in the water. Um, she has some nice blue bars. She's hypo, good structure. No kink toes or nothing. Perfect tail. She has a uh, little bit of bite marks right here from when she was with the male. He was trying to insert some dominance. Uh, a little bit of neck like marks but she never had any comp population but yeah she'd be up there this is the import from spain this girl growing slow i probably let her go for her. um low way lower than what i pay for her. Um, just because she's not growing the way i think she should that's the danger of buying imports. The people are not close. She's very beautiful though. So if somebody want a nice pet. I paid um, almost twelve hundred for her. I probably let her go for a lot less. She had a bite mark on her tail, but it's a full tail. See the bite mark right there. Uh, her toes are good though. She's a little thin, she's a little intense, but she has very good color. She's a translucent, possible head hypo. Her mouth is in shed. She don't have an underbite or overbite. Very beautiful girl. But if you buy this one, um, chance, chances are she might not get big enough to uh, breed. At this size, she will produce eggs, but it might take a lot from her body. So if you decide to breed her anyway, I would um, make sure you pump her up with pinkies and like hornworms and stuff like right after she lay eggs and up until she lay eggs so she stop eating. But I wouldn't breed her at this size. And one more. This is the Translucent Zero Hybrid. A little dirty on her feet. She has a good tail. No kink toenails. 
this girl sometimes don't like being held either. Just like her half sister. She is half um, related. She had the same father as, father as the uh, marble female. She was actually one of the dragons that were like uh, super black when it was a baby. But alright guys, by the time you see this video, these girls will be posted on the website. Um, if you guys want to do multiples, like three or more, I'll probably can lower the price a tad bit. Probably take $100 off the total of them combined. Yeah. But, um... Actually, you guys, I'm not going to be able to post them on the website. Because each individual, uh, when I, the way that I have the shipping is set up is going to be, is $50. And these girls are going to need a lot bigger box. And ship $50 is already, uh, um, it's going to be a underpriced uh, shipping cost. Because of, I'm usually shipping 6x6x7 six by, um, six by, six by boxes for the babies. And, um... It still costs about sixty to seventy dollars to ship those guys. So these guys shipping is gonna be a lot more. So I'm just gonna post this video. If you guys see this video and you want something off the video, contact me, and I can give you the um, the cost and the shipping cost. So uh, email me. My email is linked down below, or DM me on Instagram or Facebook if you don't have Instagram. All the all the links are down below. Uh, email me which one you're interested in or which ones are you interested in and um, send the zip code it's not going to give you um, the cost of the lizard and the cost of uh, ship in total and you guys can say if you want it from there but like I said this is the translucent zero um, possible have a uh, wiblet uh, 66% probable, 66% probable had Wiblet and um, Hypo, and it's visual zero, visual translucent. And that's going to be all the ones I posted. Alright guys, I will post these, these dragons on there. Um, the ship is still going to be the $50, uh, but you only could purchase one at a time. If you purchase if you want to purchase more than one you have to contact me because the shipping cost is going to be different um it's not going to be what's set up on the, on the website so make sure you contact me before you make your purchase and i'm going to put that in the description on the, each of the dragons to contact me um prior to um prior to purchase for you can get exact shipping costs Well, if you buy multiple, if you buy one, you're fine. If you want to buy multiple, contact me. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Get these guys uh, scrubbed down and set up for the night. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. No, it's not the like the informational videos you guys are used to, but. Um, I have a lot going on in my real life, so haven't been having the time to get to these lizards that I, this is what I love to do, um, but if I don't do the other stuff that I don't like to do, I'm, I'm not be able to take care of my family and pay for bills and stuff like that. Not even, I wouldn't even have this place that I'm keeping these lizards because I wouldn't be able to pay for it, so I have to do those other things um instead of being here so unfortunately i have to let these guys go um, i'm gonna keep a select few these are some of the heavy hitters so i just need to get a um, good amount so i can have a little cushion a little cushion and um something to bounce back off of once i um have more time to focus back back on the lizards but yeah um you guys contact me i'll go to the website and let's get let's get you guys some of these um, nice lizards.
Alright guys, I'm out. Peace.